Welcome back to the Cromwell Belden Public Library's Virtual Writers Workshop. You are in week number nine. You've been doing a lot of writing. And last week, we talked about technique. This week, we're gonna talk about technique again. Technique, what do I mean? I'm talking about story form. Story has a beginning, middle, and an end, right? We wanna satisfy your readers. You wanna get them excited. We wanna make sure that we have a full storyline even if it's in a chapter building up to a bigger story or if it's a complete story or a poem, okay? We also wanna worry about our writer's voice. Writer's voice is done through mood, which is the emotion that a reader feels as they're reading the story or the poem, right? The feeling that they get. And the tone, which is the way in which those sentences are formed. So today, we're going to try different mood and tone and a very different form. So the first exercise, you're going to write with this form, okay? First, I want you to pick a location, a setting where your story is taking place, okay? Pick a location. You're going to begin by describing it from above. You're going to describe the physicality of the space in a general way. You're gonna describe the people in a general way. As you write, you're gonna get more specific, perhaps mention businesses, and definitely mention specific characters, one of which will be your main character, okay? Um, you're gonna finish this story or chapter by indicating that an unusual event has just taken place or will about to take place, okay, an unusual event. So you need to pick a location. You need to pick an unusual event for this location. And you need to keep in mind who your main character will be. You don't need to reveal that yet to your readers, okay? You're gonna write with this prompt for 25 minutes in three, two, one. All right, remember what we did last week? Rewrites? All right, you're gonna rewrite what you just wrote and you're gonna rewrite thinking of a specific mood and a specific tone. So your mood is going to be tense with a side of menace. So not quite menacing, I don't want you to go quite that far, but it's a tense mood, all right? And the tone, the tone is clear, short, rhythmic. So using, reusing adjectives, okay? Maybe one or two that you really love, that really apply, reusing it in a rhythmic way. And I don't want you to worry about grammar or a sentence form and structure, break it down. If your sentence is one word, that's that's it, okay? Short, clear, precise, leave all your grammar rules, whoops, behind and your water bottle, don't worry about that. Uh, and it's gonna be almost journalistic, okay? With almost a reporter's tone, all right? I'm gonna give you 25 minutes to rewrite your story, 25 minutes. Three, two, one. All right, you are done for today. Now you may have noticed that this week we had no live virtual writers workshop. Uh, we do have a class live next Tuesday, August 4th. If you have any questions about story form, mood, or tone, Try to show up for that live event. Yes, I know it's 7 a.m., but I thought, you know, maybe do it before you get your day going, before you head to work. Um, so definitely bring those questions. If you can't get to the live virtual writer's workshop, email me, uh, let me know. And you can even post comments to this video. And I will do my best to answer those questions because next week, at this point, you must have chosen one or two books that are in the genre that you hope to write in. You are gonna find your own prompts. They're gonna be the story form from your favorite book 
and the story's mood and tone from like pick a chapter it doesn't have to be chapter one or the prologue but pick a chapter okay so your assignment for next week next Tuesday the fourth pick a chapter in your book find the story form and the mood and tone all right have a great week I'll see you later